Wenbing Tiaobian, authored by Wu Tang, a medical practitioner from the Qing dynasty. Chapter 3, Middle Jiao Section. Including five types, 1, wind warmth, 2, warm heat, 3, warm epidemic, 4, warm toxin, 5, winter warm. Section 1, symptoms include facial redness, hoarse voice, labored breathing, difficult bowel movements, urinary difficulties, a tongue coating that appears yellowed, and in severe cases, a black, prickly tongue coating membrane. Patients do not feel cold but experience heat. During the daytime, the condition gradually worsens, indicating the disease has progressed to the Yang Ming warm disease. The pulse is fast and forceful, with pronounced restlessness, and can be treated with Bai Hu Tang. If the pulse is deep and strong, or if the pulse volume becomes smaller but still strong, Da Cheng Chi Tang can be used. It is important to note that this discussion pertains to Yang Ming warm disease, and does not include other types of warm diseases such as summer warmth, damp warmth, or warm malaria. The Yang Ming meridian connects to the face, so when the disease affects the Yang Ming meridian, the face becomes red. This also explains why the eyes may appear red. The hoarse voice is due to metal being injured by fire, resulting in unclear speech. Labored breathing means that both inhalation and exhalation through the nasal passages become heavy, indicating the disease has already manifested internally and is not just a superficial condition. If labored breathing occurs only during inhalation or exhalation, or if it is inconsistent, further detailed diagnosis is needed as labored breathing can lead to wheezing. Difficult bowel movements indicate the presence of Yang Ming Meridian solid evidence, while urinary difficulties signify that Yin Qi cannot properly resolve the heat in the Fu organs. Dry mouth and thirst are caused by the drying up of bodily fluids due to excessive heat. A yellowed tongue coating indicates that the lungs are disturbed by the turbid qi of the stomach, preventing the qi from resolving bodily fluids. If the tongue coating turns black, it is a sign of a severe condition. Black represents the water element, implying that the disease has progressed to an extreme point, and also suggests that the water element's characteristics have surpassed those of the fire element. In general, extreme characteristics in the five elements tend to manifest beyond their usual forms and the prickly tongue coating membrane is a result of excessive rising heat causing the coating to harden. If the coating becomes soft, it does not indicate an actual evidence of the disease. Patients do not feel cold, only heat, indicating the disease has reached the middle jiao and no longer involves the lungs. When Yang Ming Meridian's Yang Qi is invaded by pathogenic heat, patients only feel heat. Treatment options include Bai Hu Tang or Da Cheng Chi Tang, depending on the specific pulse conditions. If the pulse is floating and turbulent, it means the pathogenic heat is still on the surface and should not be purged downward. Treatment should be aimed at relieving the heat. If the pulse is deep and strong, it suggests that the disease is mainly located internally, and in this case, Da Cheng Chi Tang should be used to clear heat and relieve the evidence. Wu Tang also mentions the color of the tongue coating, stating that if the coating's edges are white and only the center is slightly yellow, rhubarb should be added, but he does not endorse this practice. He emphasizes that even in severe conditions, cathartic medications should not be used lightly. He mentions the yellowed tongue coating, progressing to black with prickles, and a deep and strong pulse as the criteria for considering the use of Da Cheng Chi Tang. Finally, Wu Tang explains the different treatment approaches for warm diseases and typhoid fever. Typhoid fever primarily affects the body's yang qi, so it requires pungent and warming herbs to rescue yang qi. Warm diseases, on the other hand, mainly affect the body's yin qi, so they require herbs with pungent, cool, sweet, and salty qualities to nourish yin qi. In summary, the treatment methods for warm diseases and typhoid fever differ because they affect different aspects of the body but medication choices should be based on the specific symptoms presented by the disease. Note 1, in the Ling Shu, a classic Chinese medical text, the presence of a tongue coating is explicitly mentioned only in the case of lung warm disease, while it is not mentioned in the context of other warm diseases. The appearance of a tongue coating is explained as a result of the stomach's turbidity and smoky fumes ascending and steaming the lungs, leading to the inability of lung qi to resolve properly. Da Cheng Chi Tang's components include 6 qian, a traditional Chinese unit of weight, of Da Huang, rhubarb, 3 qian of mangxing, natri sulfurs, 3 qian of hupo, magnolia bark, and 3 qian of jixia, or fructus immaturus. 
To prepare the decoction, one should start by boiling jixia, then add da huang and mangxing, simmering until it becomes three cups. Consume the first cup initially and, if there is no bowel movement after approximately two hours, drink the second cup. If there's still no effect, consume the third cup. The ingredients in this prescription have characteristics of bitterness, pungency, purgation, and a salty nature that promotes descending. The therapeutic principle of Da Cheng Chi Tang is to facilitate the descent of gastric qi. The stomach, as a fu organ, possesses a yang nature. In a healthy state, stomach qi should naturally descend. However, if pathogenic factors obstruct its descent, the stomach, even though it wants to descend, is unable to do so. Therefore, the assistance of medicinal herbs is needed to encourage the descending of stomach yin qi. The name of this decoction, cheng qi, literally, bearing qi, holds a significant meaning, and scholars who truly understand this meaning will not make mistakes when using da cheng qi tang. Da Huang acts to clear heat stagnation, Mangxing enters the yin aspect and softens hardened substances, Jisha opens the pylorus, resolving issues of obstruction, while Hu Po eliminates solid fullness in the center palace. This prescription is called Da, literally, Big, Cheng Qi due to the comprehensive actions of these four herbs. It can be said that nothing hard remains unbroken, and nothing minute is left unresolved. However, this decoction is not suitable for diseases that are not genuinely characterized by heat and obstruction. In such cases, removing the entry into yin aspect, as in the case of emitting mangxing, allows for the use of Xiao Cheng Qi Tang. If the quality of qi stagnation and obstruction is lessened by removing Hu Po and adding Gan Kao, licorice root, to harmonize the center, Tian Wei Wei Tang can be used. In this note, it is mentioned that the dosage of Hu Po is not as large as in the Shong Han Lun treatise on febrile diseases, because the treatment of warm diseases differs from that of typhoid fever. It is essential to avoid excessive use of Hu Po to prevent drying conditions.